Hi there. Today I am inside of Artistly again and just want to give you a few tips really quickly about getting organized. I know that if you're using Artistly or if you haven't tried it, then I hope you will. I will have a link to my affiliate link down in the bottom. Um, if you decide to try it out or you're thinking about trying it out, message me uh, in the comments and I'll figure out how to get you into my group so that you can determine if Artistly is a good fit for you and your digital um, product creation. So um, in this particular video, what I want to do is show you a couple of new techniques or an idea that I had just to kind of I guess offset one of the things that hasn't been added yet, which is a little bit better control over multi um, moving things into like moving more than one image at a time or one sequence of four into your folders all at one time. So if you've been working with Artistly very long, um, you know that for right now we have a bulk remove. So if you click the bulk remove, you can click on this and then it will remove them all. Um, since I don't want to do that. We don't have a bulk move that would move them into our folder setup. So in order for me to get a good workflow um, and also be able to find the prompt because one of the reasons that you want to use a folder system is because if you start a clip art pack or an image pack or just images in general that you think you may want to reuse that prompt because it gave you really good results and a lot of my um, really good prompts come from me experimenting, getting a good prompt, and then tweaking that prompt in order to get different designs. I will take that basic prompt and I will change words. I'll add words. I'll take words out. I'll change colors um, of hair. I'll change um, whether it's a boy or a girl, um, whether it's a, a giraffe or um, a lizard. Um, I change all sorts of things within that basic prompt. Sometimes it works really well and other times you just have to tweak it. So try to remember and, and think about this AI. I know that there are AI in general is very controversial, especially when it comes to art and your um, literature or your writing um, aspects of the AI. And because of that, um, I prefer, since I do consider myself, uh, I am a published author. I am also a, have been a graphic artist for a long time. So um, I've used graphics in order to create ads, ad layouts, book layouts, magazine layouts, all sorts of things, um, do invitations, all, all kind of things that I have used clip art with. Now the difference is instead of purchasing those myself, I am creating my own, which gives me a bigger license to be more creative. And so I do actually consider what I'm doing with Artistly um, an art form because all you have to do is look into groups of people that are using the AI technologies and you will understand that not everyone is writing great prompts. It takes a long time. It is a learning curve. It is a skill that is acquired. The fact that artists often already have, number one, an eye for what's really going to be a good um, illustration or image the makeup of the image, the layouts, and all of the other stuff, but also um, any creative, whether you're coming at this from being an author um, or a graphic artist where you've already worked with images, you know, if you're an artist, you know the terms, you know um, what it's called, and since the, the AI is trained on technique, it, a lot of times it's easier for you to come up with great prompts if you're already kind of in the artsy um, environment. You're, you're already skilled in that area. You already know what the terms mean. So artists can sometimes jumpstart 
how they can use it and how creative that they can use it. I do hope that at some point in time there is a type of protection for the work that the the artwork that you can create and until then what we as artists have to do is take what we create and use different elements um use you know mix things together um mixed media has always been a or recently been a fairly popular type um thing to come up with where you use different types of media and um i think that that's where this is going is that artists can use this if nothing else they can conceptualize and then recreate they can um, add their different things they can come up with ideas um, authors uh, that are self-publishing can use this as far as creating images and trying to get their image from their imagination down on something visual that they can refer to as far as eye color, hair color, and stuff of the way that they feel like their hero and their heroine should look. Um, I, this was not exactly the video I had planned on doing, but it all kind of goes hand in hand. And it seems like every time I start to do a video, there's a, a correlating topic that kind of goes with the very simple thing that I start out with. But that's just a little insight into the AI and using the AI artwork and stuff. So that's what the way I use it. So one of the things, like I said, workflow finding a way to do something faster, um, create faster and better. Um, creating faster is not going to get you a lot of sales on any of your products. It's not going to really, you're not going to have that sense of accomplishment if what you're producing is junk. So my goal is to, for myself, find techniques, products, and um, training that allows me to put out the best product with the best and fastest workflow. And so I want to share that with you as well. As I learn things, then I want to share them with you so that you can implement them in your own small business um, and come up with great digital products that will fill a need and uh, be an answer for someone. So one of the things inside Artistly that I figured out that I could do. Uh, I have a lot. I do a lot of art and I have a lot. I mean, a lot. I have a lot of folders already. Um, just my list is just, it's exhausting. And I have a lot of images in all of these. But I realized that sometimes it's just really difficult to get those things into the folders until they find a way and until they add that bulk ad where you can move all of your things by clicking on them and moving them all at one time. And so because I mean, literally, I mean, you just don't even know how many I have, how many images I have, you know, they're just everywhere. And so what was happening is sometimes I want to go back and use one of those prompts and play with it of the successful prompts that I've had. So I decided kind of later on and I wish I'd have done it the first thing because it would have been at the top of my list instead of at the bottom. I'd also like to see Artistly implement where you can drag the folders you use the most or the ones that you use the most would be at the top. But anyway, one of the things that I added was a folder called styles. And what this is, is this is where I put, I don't put all of the images, but if I have one that's working pretty well, I can just do a row of four. Like, see, I can, I could just add this one. And that way I have the prompts here that I can, um, you know, that I can go back and click on and I can do the recreate from there or redesign, excuse me. So using, adding a styles and then once you create, you don't have to have every image in your pack. You only have to have the ones that have, that that prompt has been um, changed, like for this one. The reason I have two rows is because 
I actually added some things and tweaked the prompt. So this one worked well, and then this one worked well as well. On this one, same difference. Um, I tweaked the prompt. They're similar, but I did tweak the prompt, and I liked all of these different variations. So I did save all of those images like that. Um, I liked my houses here. I liked the little... Uh, astronauts here. Um, I liked these little girls so, and like I said I varied the prompt a little bit from one to the other and the same thing with the drinks. This is very new. This is just something I've just, you can tell I don't have a lot in here but it definitely will save me time and I will try to go back into some of my older folders and actually move some of those into the styles as well so that I'm not having to go through every single image inside that um, folder for that bears or whatever it is. If I have a great looking bear, you know, whatever my packs that have been really successful that I have a really great prompt for, then I'm probably going to go back into those and move them into this fold the styles and if it starts to get too big my suggestion would be to name another one like styles number two or styles number three so that you're you're only having to scroll down a very short piece and you don't have to load a ton more um, that's something that I'm going to implement as well so um I hope that that is helpful to you because I know that Part of being, having a good workflow is always about what you can do to streamline and to be organized. And the better organized you are, then the faster you're going to be able to work and the better product you're going to be able to put out. So, um, I think that it's definitely something you can utilize inside the artistly system until they change it and depending on when you'll be watching this video that may not be a problem anymore um, I'm creating things that I hope will um, be lasting but some of the videos inevitably will become outdated at some point depending on when you're watching them as artistly tweaks and goes to the 3.0 that they're planning um, this is with the 2.0 version, and they have not added those features yet, even though they are on the roadmap and hopefully in consideration. And then we will be able to do a little bit better. But I'm really thinking that probably still having the styles would be just a quicker way, even if you want to save all of your images, of course. And you want to do those if you're not immediately downloading your, your images um, so that you can go back and download them. And uh, just a moment on that subject. It is a great idea for you. If you're dealing with a lot of digital images like this, I would definitely recommend that you get an external hard drive to, to kind of keep those off of your computer. Um, if you want to save them also to Dropbox or something, that's not a bad idea either. I've been working on the computer for a very long time and I've had bad hard drive you know the hard drives that went bad I've had all sorts of things so I tend to be an over keeper I guess you could say a lot of times I'll put it on Dropbox and then I'll also have it on uh, one of the external hard drives but um, if, if your your art is important to you and you feel like you will be able to, and, and the thing about if you're designing clip art packs um, for, for you that are doing commercial clip art packs, um, I encourage you to look at different ways you can actually, you can sell them as a clip art pack, but you can also use those images different ways if you want to design invitations or printables or whatever. Um, you can definitely use those images. Um, I use them for different things. I'm designing kids invitations now and um, I just see expanding with the artwork that I've created um, into lots of different things you can do you know wall art there's just so many things that you can do with the art that you're creating so um, have an open mind and um, once you're established in, in one facet then you know try moving into something else a lot of times when I create a piece of art um, I'm 
immediately something pops in my head. Oh, that would be a great this or that. So just keep an open mind. And as always, you know, um, you want to look for these techniques. And I, I do hope that this has, you know, kind of helped you. Thank you. I'm so glad that you were able to join me for this video and I hope you enjoyed it and that it will be a help in your business. Um, I use Artistly AI to create all of my artwork. If you're curious about it, I do have a link um, with my affiliate link down in the description box. Check it out. They have a, a money back guarantee for, I don't know exactly how many days. At one point it was 30 days. So you can check it out. And if you don't like it, it doesn't work for you. You can always ask for a refund. Um, I do have a special group on Facebook that I'd love to welcome you into if you use my affiliate link and want to learn more about how to use Artistly in your business. And um, I just want to thank you for watching my video. If you would, like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.